you listening to podcasts that sound like this? Hey, welcome back to the Super OK Podcast, where our audio sounds mediocre. Or do you prefer podcasts that sound more like this? Crisp, clear, fun, easy to listen to, and full of awesomeness. Well, then you should check out Spoiler Country, hosted exclusively over at Spoilerverse.com. Next, we have after Black Widow, we have the TV show for Hawkeye, but that's one is that 2022 or later in 2021? Uh, 2021, I think. Let me find wow. out. Look it up for you. Well, because Casey, so people know we have a chat set up where usually when we're talking Marvel stuff, it's the four of us Sumner, Casey, John, and myself. Yeah. And Casey was called Loki the last one. You think they save this for the last because it's a slow burn? I'm like, okay. Well, first, I think Wanda was a much more slower burn. Oh, me too. And no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's more. I mean, there's there's still She-Hulk coming out and there's a bunch of other shows coming out. Yeah. But where does this fall? So, okay, so this is part of the movie st- um, timeline. Even though they're all part of the same thing, you know yeah. what I mean? You kind of you group them separately, right? You group the TV shows and you group the movies. Why are you moving? Why are you? I mean, I mean, just for ranking? that's how I think of it. That doesn't mean it's accurate, and that's how you do it. I group the TV shows together because I'm because it's a weekly episodic thing, and I just I watch them. And then the movies should be a better production, should be a more grand storyline. I don't know. And, the, the TV shows kind of have a very similar production value of the movies. I mean, yeah, they they are putting a lot of freaking money into it, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Like Loki, and they look. I mean, they look real pretty. Yeah, they do look really pretty. They do look really pretty, but okay. So what's next? What are we seeing after Black Widow? Is it is it Hawkeye, or is uh, it the next movie? I think is the next Spider Man movie. Okay, what about the next TV show? What if and then Hawkeye? Are we counting What If though? Because What If is completely different tangent. I mean, that's like that but could be all, anything. Yeah, but it's, it's all the same. It's all the same um, actors re, like doing. I mean, it's, it's all what if. It's all it's all like what if stories, but it's all like the same actors doing the voices and stuff. And the yeah, cartoon. Those stories have no bearing on the the timeline that we're watching the TV show. The other TV. No, show. no they don't. They don't. But I mean, so I mean, I'm excited for what if. Don't get me wrong, dude. I'm fucking excited for what if because what if so, looks so. awesome. And our buddy worked on that, directed I think a few of them. Yeah. And yeah. so we're really excited to see Stephen Frank's work. In the what if coming to Disney Plus <laughs> on August on August 11th? Oh, so that's going to be awesome. September 3rd is Shang Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings. That's the next movie. When September 3rd? Wow, September. Okay. Yeah. And then so right now we have Black Widow just came out. We have What If in August. We have Shang Chi in September. And then I don't count it as part of the MCU, but the new Venom movie comes out in September as well. Yeah, that don't count. And then Hawkeye comes out in late fall of 2021. No, no actual date yet, but late fall. Okay. And that's a show. The show. And then right. after that, after and on November 5th is The Eternals. Are these shows, are these miniseries? These yeah. are miniseries. Miniseries, yeah. Right? And the difference is shows have can come back for multiple seasons. Yeah. No, no, none, of, none of these are coming back. Like, oh, Which kind of sucks. Falcon Winter Soldier might come back for another season. WandaVision won't. I doubt Loki will. Yeah, see, that just sucks. You yeah. think it's because they paid so much to get these actors in because they got to get paid by scale based on what they've been doing, and these are characters that have been on movies. Yeah. And I, think they're, I think it's because they're writing, they're writing them as, as one story. They're not writing them as like multiple multiple. And they're paying them like they're, they're shooting a movie. Yeah, pretty much, probably. I don't know. The I, I, I think we need to change the lingo on that. Yeah. And then uh, December is Spider-Man 3. Are you excited for Spider-Man 3? Yeah, I like Spider-Man. I like, I like Tom Holland. I'm curious where they're going to take these, but I mean... Same old argument for me, man. I got to get out of teenage years. I think this will be the last Teenage Years one. Because I think, I think he's like out of high school or like... How many movies does he have left on his contract, though? I have no idea. Because he just but, signed that new deal, right? Uh, like, probably, Isn't yeah. there a whole thing after... Remember that whole thing where Sony wanted to ask for more money or something like that? And Diddy said no. And then it was like a week of... Oh my God, Freak Out City. And then it came out that Tom had signed a new contract. And then, like, there was a chance that that, that was it. There was going to be no more Spider Mans with Tom Holland. Yeah. But now, now there's going to be, they'll, they'll be, I mean, there'll be as many as they want. 
probably and also as long as they're paying him I mean, he's young so yeah but i just come on get to the point of get to oh. the good stuff get to the after high school stuff yeah for sure yeah well because the high school stuff has been d- said so many times and honestly here it is dude i'm 47 they didn't do any high school stuff when I was reading comic, whenever no. Spider-Man comic books, he was, he was a full fledged adult, you know? And I think he was even out of college and, you know, he got married in 1987. Yeah. You know, there, there's literally more years of him out of high school than there is of him in high school. And yeah. I don't understand why they keep flipping regurgitating it. A lot of the cartoons he's out of high school too. Yeah. We had Tom Brevoort on. And if you don't know who Tom Brevoort is, look it up. No, he's the, he's one of the main editors at Marvel Comics. And yeah. I would argue that he's probably the editor. He's a senior editor at Marvel Comics, yeah. Yeah, he's he was awesome. He was a great guy. Great guy. And we I asked him about that, and he's, he didn't agree with me. He yeah. said more people want to see – he thinks more people want to see Peter Parker as high school. Well, and, I, and I can't – and all I can think of, 12 movies – it's an easier barrier. It's a it's an easier barrier to entry than adult Peter Parker. That's what it is. Is you can get more kids to go see Spider Man if he's younger and buy yeah. Spider Man toys than you can if Spider Man's an adult dealing with adult problems. That's right. it, it's a barrier to entry and what they can sell out of, out of that second part. But they've had so many. Yeah, I agree. Now. Give us some adult Spider Man. They, they were so close with Sam Raimi. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because he was getting out of high school at the beginning of that one, and then he was. That third one, people just didn't like it. You know, they didn't like Venom. They didn't like... It was was bloated. It was bloated. Yeah. It's the closest Venom storyline from the original comics, though, that we've had. Way better than the Venom movie. Yeah. Well, the Venom movie doesn't even... It doesn't even take anything. No, it's not even close. Uh, After after Spider-Man is uh, Miss Marvel. Is that with the uh, the Muslim girl? Yeah. yeah. I say the Muslim girl only because that's a major part of her character and it was kind of a cool thing kamala khan yeah a, kamala khan yeah she's yeah. A cool character she's she's she different is. i mean she kind of does that stretchy thing though right 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 and that'll be that that'll, that that rounds out this year all the everything i set up and then 2022 is morbius with uh jared leto <clears throat> which but that's be- a that's a sony one but it's, are they counting it as part of the mcu they are wow so that means well there's a chance of seeing tom holland in it well, there's, other characters. there's a direct reference in that tra- in the trailer to Tom Holland Spider Man. Nice. So, Mobius fan Johnny just got one of my bucket list fucking books, like a jerk. Right here, right here. Got it way too way cheaper than he probably should have. Oh, dude, this book is going for so much money right now. I know it's dumb, and but it pissed I, I, me I, off because I, I, for nobody bucks. liked him. when I was collecting Mobius. No, Morbius. Nobody liked him. Nobody cared about him. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I was like, oh, I want to get that book, and it was like a hundred bucks, but I couldn't have it. Now it's like. It's so much now. It's like I, I, I'll never get it. Oh, I know. It's 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 crazy how much it costs. It's like I can't even imagine buying it full price. It's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> it is dumb. But after Morbius is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Multiverse of Madness. But I'm looking forward to that one. That is in 2022. Yeah, it's in March of 2022. You know what's funny with the Doctor Strange mm-hmm. is the first like the first time I watched the first movie, I really liked it, and then after that, I have a hard time staying awake through it. Doctor Strange. Uh huh. Yeah, I like, I liked, I loved it the first time I saw it. Now I just want to watch the end fight with with, with Dormammu. I just like, I just like that end fight. Dormammu, like, I'm here to make a bargain. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then after that is Thor: Love and Thunder in Mar in uh, May, and then Black yeah, Panda. They messed up, man. They should have used your title. I know four Thor, more, four more Thors. Yeah, Thor four, four more Thors. How do you not do that one? Right. It's, I mean, Love and Thunder is like. I mean, it's they're doing the whole 80s thing with that one. I know. I know. But it's like, come on. But whatever. And after that is Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is going to, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be introducing Shuri. I think, I think Shuri is going to take over Black Panther. Yeah. Who else is going to do it? You're not going to, you're not going to put in a new, you're not going to bring in a new Black Panther character. No. Uh, no they, they should have Shuri should take over. I mean, because Shuri takes over in the comics. Yeah, so not in the MCU, but in October of 2020, we get Sp- into the Spider Verse two, which is I'm excited for because I love the first one. Yeah, the first one was fantastic. The way they did it, yeah, it was awesome. And then November of 2022, we get the Marvels, which is Captain Marvel two. I and hope then, they do a better job. I, I, I want to like that movie. Yeah, you know, 
And there's some scenes that I really like, but dude, the writing, every it's the way they're writing her character. My she, biggest problem you can't Captain you huh? My biggest problem with Captain Marvel is that Captain Marvel nothing is a, nothing is a challenge for her. She yeah, has not really a challenge. Like challenge. There's they, no challenge. They write her in a flippant way. Yeah, and I think that's what drives me. It's not Allison. Is it Allison Brie? Uh, Brie Larson. Brie Larson. It's not Brie Larson as an actor. I really don't think it's her. No, she's great. It, it's it's the way they're they're writing her, and like that whole time with, I don't know, man. The whole thing like an Endgame, when yeah. she's like, "Well, I have all these things." It's not just about this. It's the way she do. It's the way they wrote the line and the way it's delivered, and yeah. I think it was just it just came across as so arrogant. And it's like, how do I stand behind this person? I can't. It's right. like asking me to stand behind the the guy from the boys. Oh, Homelander. Yeah, Homelander. God, I, I, she's not like Homelander, right. but it's the same kind of feeling. It asking me to stand behind her because right. it doesn't come across that she cares about anything. Or maybe I'm—I don't know—maybe I'm reading her wrong, but it just seems weird, and I—I I think they're—I think they're doing that character a disservice the way they do it. Yeah, it's like she, her humanity is completely gone. Yeah, I, I can see that. But I mean, those listening, go back listen listen to our Captain Marvel review and hear totally different opinions. Yeah, time, <laughs> time, changes time, it. and you know what? We didn't record it after what it was in game that may, changed my mind the way it was when I first yeah. watched. Captain Marvel, it was cool, but she had different sensibilities and yeah. her attitude was different, you know? And yeah. she cared about the things that were around her. And then now on that one, I mean, like we were having the uh the the Kevin Smith Death Star debate around Captain Marvel and oh and the and the Thanos' Thanos's spaceship. Yeah, but she just killed millions of people. Yeah. 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 You know, I get that they're attacking and da 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 da, but that ship is so massive, there's literally just maintenance workers and yeah. cook yeah. and yeah. everything yeah. that has yeah. nothing to do with anything that Thanos is doing. That are now drawing. <laughs> yeah. Well, then after Marvel is Moon Knight and then She-Hulk and then... I'm excited for Moon Knight. Yeah, and then a couple of shows, I don't know if they're going to happen or not because they announced an I Am Groot show and a Secret Invasion show and... I'm not really happy. I, I read that I Am Groot comic book and I couldn't make it through the first issue. Right. And there's more. Is Groot... I don't think Groot... I can't see Groot as a as as a what's the word I'm looking for as a headliner. Yeah, you know what I mean. He, he's uh, he's I mean, a supporting yeah. character. Well, which means there'll be another character in there that is the headliner, and, and Groot will just be the sidekick to his own movie. Yeah, like Rocket is a headliner. You could watch a movie oh, yeah. with Rocket doing everything. But oh, sure. just listening to somebody say "I am Groot" all the time will drive you nuts. I am Groot. I am, I am Groot. Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> And we're back. That's right. We are back. Back in the saddle again. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys really, really enjoyed that as much as we did making it for you. And if you like what you heard and you want to hear more, you got to go check out spoilerverse.com because at spoilerverse.com, we have a plethora of amazing directors and artists of all walks of life and editors and writers and oh my god are you a lover of comic books like we are then so there's many. so many amazing people from the comic book world over at spoilerverse.com and i highly implore you to go there and check it out yeah and while you're there you can check out all the other podcasts on our network like Bridges and the geekdoms and funny book forensics and haphazard adventures and nerds from the crypt and so many more misery Point episodes Radio. all the time go check all of them out and Check out all of the reviews and previews and articles we have going up every single day for you. Every day on Spoilerverse.com for you to check out, to read, and to love, and to like, and to comment. We have a store link. If you want to help support the site, you can do it two ways. One, go to our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash or go to our store link in the middle of the site there and get a t-shirt, a face mask, a hoodie, something. Look fly as hell and help support the site when you do that because we get a dollar or two. And, you know, maybe you want to talk to us. If you do, you can do it you know, obviously on all the socials, but... If you go to scpod.us slash discord, you can join our public discord server and come chat with us all day long. I couldn't say it better myself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You just mouthed out a ton of information at once. And really, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy what you're hearing because we're, we're working our butts off to bring it to you. 
We are. We are. I guess there's only one left thing. One left thing? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to go with it. There's only one left thing left to do. What's that? In an oceans of podcasts, we are Cthulhu. As Cthulhu compels you to okay. do, open the mind and read more. Spaghetti. <laughs>